guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Makeup by Carla Misa on YouTube. And can we just admire my lipstick today? I am wearing blue lipstick. OMG, I'm so happy and perky about my lips today. It's my first time wearing blue lips, so I am pretty hyper. I'm wearing this Pinkies Collections Smooth Silk Long Eye and Lip Pencil in the shade of Joe Fodel. So yeah. It's really nice, right? This is just the lip liner, by the way, and I actually blotted it a little bit with a tissue. Yeah, it's not as pigmented as it is, but I love it. I actually have a blue lipstick, and I was thinking of topping it off with that, but I'm good with this. Tignan nga lang natin kung makakalabas ba ako ng bahay with this lipstick. <laughs> But anyway, let's go back to what we are supposed to talk about today. And today, I'm going to share with you my current favorites for the month of July. Because it has been recently long since I applied my makeup. Because if you haven't known yet, I was actually in proactive and for more than a month, I did not wear makeup just because I want to test and see for myself if I wouldn't really break out if I didn't wear makeup. Because for the past Four years I have been breaking out uncontrollably and a lot of people tell me to stop wearing makeup since I wear makeup and syempre, I I always tell them that I cannot stop wearing makeup. It makes me happy and whatevs. But my friend told me and gave me a proactive set and my best friend told me not to wear makeup while using it. So I just said to myself, okay, I will not wear makeup while using it. And I was able to do it for a month and a half, I can't believe. And that really, really um, helped me a lot because right now, I can go out of the house without makeup. I don't care anymore. Dati kasi parang feel ko whenever I go out, I have to wear my brows, I have to wear my makeup, whatsoever. Pero ngayon, when I'm on a rush, I don't wear makeup anymore and I feel good about it. I feel okay about it. That's really a great accomplishment for me na nagawa ako yun. But the sad part is that proactive did not work for me. I mean, at least I was still breaking out even without makeup, even with the proactive. So I just thought that maybe what I have with my face is something hormonal na. So I'm currently having myself checked. I will be seeing my OB next week again so I will update you on that if I really have because if this me breaking out is really caused by something hormonal because I have regular menstruation, TMI. Mostly because those with PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome have irregular menstruation which is why they have hormonal breakouts whatsoever. I'm blabbing too much, I'm sorry. That's a tangent over there, I'm sorry. I'll just put the time wherein the favorite starts so you can move to the favorites I got without my blabbing whatsoever. But yeah, I love my lippy today and I talk too much. So let's begin. The first thing I'm gonna share with you is this Lucas Papau ointment. This is actually an ointment that is famous in Australia and I got this for my friend Mickey. Hi Mickey if you're watching. And I got this way back and I think over a year na. And I haven't been using this for the past months but lately, ito na yung ko ng lip balm whenever I need to moisturize my lips before I go to sleep or before I put on makeup. And this just does the job. This is just the best lip balm for me kasi talagang it solves all the chappiness going on on your lips. And then this is just the best thing to put on if you put on liquid lipstick because if your lips are cracked, you put it on and it will be smooth a I really love this lip balm. You get the chance to be able to get this one for yourself. If you have a friend in Australia, whatsoever, I think some online shops sell this one as well. Go ahead and pick this up. It has a bunch of product, 25 grams. Because this is not as a lip balm only. I think ang dami niyang mga uses pa. It says here, it's a local topical application for boils, burns, chafing, cuts, cracked skin, gravel rash, splinters, open wounds, insect bites, and nappy rash. The ointment helps to relieve and cleanse. So yeah. This actually mainly has potassium sorbate, so I don't really know what does that do, but yeah, I have been loving this. My next favorite would have to be this Maybelline Dream Satin Skin SPF 24PA++ Air Whipped Liquid Foundation. I have it in the shade of 01. If you have watched my previous hauls, you would know that I have hauled this in another shade that is B2, which apparently is dark for my skin tone. I like that shade better because B2 is more on the yellow side. But I was sad because that was dark on me. I actually made a review on this. I didn't upload because while editing, I could see that it's dark on my skin tone. So I didn't upload This 01, I did not get because it's not yellow tone. But it's kind of a neutral tone, but I have been loving it because the formula is just amazing. It's like your skin, but better. Diba? My lips but better, my, my skin but better pa pala. But yeah, I really love this. I just hope that mayro pang lighter, yellower shade. But this one is really nice. The formulation is like skin. It's pretty thick when you swatch 
touch it. Pero when you apply it on your skin, it melts in your skin and talagang it marries your skin, making it really look natural. The coverage is really good. It covers out your imperfections really well. And that's what I really love about this. For eyebrows, what I've been loving are these two products. Now, first, this eyebrow product from Second Love. I know the packaging is gross, but I have had this for quite some time now. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but it's my favorite ko to before. And as you can see, I've hit pan on that shade that I love. It is just the best shade for my brows. It's a little dark on my brows, but I could still work with it just because this is super pigmented. And talagang when I'm on a rush, konting swipe lang, it really fills out your brows right away. And that's what I really love about it. This palette though, ito lang ginagamit ko. And I think I need to repurchase though with this. I only get this from the close out store if you have it on your city. So yeah, I have to get this for myself. I really, really love this. Now for this other product that I have discovered, this is from Maybelline as well. This is the Fashion Brow by Maybelline. These are one of their newest products. Now I have it in the shade of dark brown. This is a 3D brow and nose Oh, snap. Nose palette and it has three shades. It has a wax, a darker shade, and a lighter shade for contour. I've been using the wax and the deeper brown shade for my brows. And the lightest one I use for nose contour. And I can say that this is just the perfect shade for the nose line because it's super natural when you look at it. I love that it comes with a handy brush. It's not really easy to work with a really small brush, but it really comes in handy. What I don't like about this is that wala siyang mirror, so you can't use it on its own. Mirror lang talagang cool lang dito, guys. But I really love this so much. Yun nga lang, hindi siya super pigmented, but it's easy to work with the brow products. It will really take you time to work on your brows. For me, kasi dito ang bilis ko makagawa ng brows. Kasi super pigmented, konting product lang goes a long way. But this I've been loving as well kasi it's really affordable. I think 200 plus pesos lang to. And you get a nose contour and you get a brush for nose contour as you can see. It's really, the brush is really useful kasi I think this has natural hairs. It's not harsh whatsoever as well as the brow brush that it comes with. So I really recommend you try this product out. Yun lang, walang mirror. But you could always get your own handy Mirror, so no problem with that. Another foundation that I have been loving, actually, bago ko lang to na sumbukan, and sorry for the packaging, but this is the L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder Foundation. In this one, twice ko palang to nagamit, but naging favorite ko siya agad just because it's so easy to blend. It is a really thin formula, liquid talaga siya, but then when you apply it on your face, the same, it melts on your skin. It's super thin. The formula is super thin, kaya sobrang dali niyang i-blend. And it has good coverage, and it has a yellow undertone, although this is darker for me. The shade is dark, but I could pull it off by setting it with a light foundation, light powder foundation. So yeah, I really love this. This is my first time trying this out. This is a pretty old product na from L'Oreal and wala to sa Philippines, but this one, I really enjoyed using. It really dries to powder and it lasts all day on my face. Hindi naman ako nag-oil up. I have combination to oily skin, so pasado to sa akin. Before I forget, I just have to show this because this one is one of my favorites for the month. Kasi, I don't know if this video would be up before my review on this product, but I'll be putting the link down below. This just helps me with, with my metabolism. When you drink this up, automatically you will go to the comfort room, and that's what I need. I have a sedentary lifestyle. <laughs> Yeah, slow metabolism. I don't really have a bowel movement on a daily basis, so I need something to push all this gunk in my body, TMI. So yeah, I've been loving this a lot for this month, and although it's too sweet for my liking, I still love the effect that it gives to my body. So this is TMI all over, but yeah, this is one of my favorites, definitely. Now for blush, I have been loving this hard candy blush crush baked blush in the shade of pin up. If you have watched my lip product haul video, I'll be putting the link down below. Someone asked me on a blush gamit ko and this is the blush I've been using there. I actually initially bought this because baka I can use it for highlight, but apparently it's really pink. So hindi siya pwede sa akin as highlight because I have kind of like a fair acidic skin tone, but as you can tell, mukam pwede siyang highlight, right? But it has a pink undertone. I tried using it as highlight and it did not work for me because I have fair skin tone. If you have deeper skin tones, you can probably use this as highlight. I really love the glow that it gave me. Sa aking video, you could probably see it. 
I'll be putting the link down below. But yeah, this is such a beautiful color. Can you see that? Ang ganda niya. I've been really loving this. I love the glow that it gives on my skin. And it really makes you look blooming. Kaya tuloy na pa-comment yung iba na blooming ako. Blush lang yun, girl. So I have been loving this hard candy blush. Now for highlights. Siyempre highlights on fleek ang uso ngayon. And my favorite highlight would have to be the Sleek Face Form Palette. Yung may blush, highlight, and contour. But then again, my cousin, Ate Eds, got it for me when I visited Iligan. So I had to give it to her. But... Yun na talaga yung ginagamit ko. It's my go-to product. And because I love her and she wants it, I gave it to her. And ngayon, wala na ako ibang highlight na magagamit. So, I discovered this product on my collection. This is from MUA Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlighter in the shade of Iridescent Gold. It's not the perfect highlight for me, but I have been using it a lot kasi. I mean, highlight is the thing right now. And this does the job naman. I have it on today. As you can see, highlight on fleek ba somehow. Let's do a swatch. And it's really glowy as you can tell. Maybe this is the right highlight for me. Let me know down below if it looks okay. But yeah, I'm still looking for the perfect highlight for me. I'm thinking of getting Mary Luminizer. But I'm afraid I'm going to disappoint because it's the same as this. Or Becca's Champagne Pop, which is so, so expensive for me. I am a Koripat girl. So I'm also, you know, wanting to get that. But so Koripat, you know, I don't... I don't think I can buy myself like a highlighter that's like 2,000 pesos. I don't really know. This is okay for me. I've been using this a lot lately, so yeah. Okay naman siya. What you think? <laughs> now let's move on to my favorite lip product. I think the mention ko na to sa aking, oops. I think the mention ko na to sa aking previous um, lip product haul, but this is the Jazzy Lustrous Lip Gloss in the shade of Ice Princess. And this is like just my favorite go-to lip product. Ngayon lang ako ng iba ng lip product, guys. And araw-araw, every time lumalabas ako, ito yung gamit ko. I will swatch it for you. Okay, yan. Look at that. That is so pretty. Someone commented on my channel that this is a dupe for Kylie Lip Kit in Dolce K. I personally haven't tried Kylie Lip Kit yet just because it's too mahal for my liking. Like I said, I'm Karipot and I don't want to buy a lip product for the brand. It's so mahal. I mean, I love Kylie Jenner. But yeah, I don't want to buy a so mahal na liquid lipstick when I can buy something like this. So I have been loving this a lot. Although it's oxidized. The other shade I got is actually in the shade of Tea Rose and I got the two shades just because these are the lightest ones of the bunch. Pero apparently in Tea Rose is kind of like a really fuchsia deep pink. I was really hoping it was something mauve-ish, nude-ish pa rin. Pero hindi. This one though is really a nice neutral muted brown. So I really have been loving this a lot. Like totally obsessed guys. Like totally obsessed. Baking is a thing nowadays and I have a stock, my stock for baking for the rest of my life. This is the Ben Nye Neutral Set Colorless Face Powder. Look at how big this tub is. I have like 226 grams, 8 ounces to bake for the rest of my life. <laughs> but yeah, I've been loving this a lot to bake and set my face. And true enough, talagang trusted talagang Ben Nye when it comes to Keeping your face matte all day. I love the extra highlight that it gives me when I use it to bake on my highlight points. So I have been really loving this. So I have a lot. So I'm probably gonna do a tackle thing. If you're interested to try this one out, I'll probably sell this in tackle form. Maybe so the makeup revolution or, or I don't know. And I'm planning to do a stash soon. So watch out for that. Baka sa the makeup revolution. So yeah, let me know if you're interested for a tackle of this. But I have been loving this a lot. There's an airplane. I mean, it's already 10 p.m. And in nabutan pa rin ako ng airplane. For a favorite brush, the brush that I've been loving today is this brush. This is from a set, like a bamboo brush set. I think 11 piece set that I got. And I'll probably do a review of this soon. But this one I've been loving for highlight. I think that it's just the perfect size for highlight. As you can tell. I use this to highlight my face using my Undress Your Skin highlighter. I just get product there and take out the excess. And then I apply it on the high points of my face. And yan. Highlight on fleek na tayo. 
na sobrahan na ba girl. Oh. Mm. It's just perfect to highlight with. Ayan, sobrang highlight on point na ako, girls. Ang dami ng highlight going on sa aking festlock. So yeah, I have been loving this brush a lot. I think this is perfect for highlighting. For my brows pala, I've been loving this Etude House Color My Brows Brow Gel. And this has been like in the beauty industry for the longest time. Pero ngayon ko lang siya na-try kasi nagkasail ata sa Etude House. And I was able to pick this up. This one is in the shade of Natural Brown. And true enough, maganda pala talaga tong product na to. Because I never tried this. Ngayon ko pa lang to na-try. I have been through a lot of brow gels. And I love the L'Oreal one. I love the Face Shop one. Pero this one is really nice pala talaga. Although, konti lang yung laman niya. It really does color your brows. Like, it's called color my brows. And I love that it does well sa tinting. And medyo, it keeps your brows in place Then I'm wearing it right now on my brows. So, yeah. Brows on fleek. I have been really loving this. Kaya pala ang daming may gusto nito. So, yeah. Ngayon ko pala siya try And I love it. I have a backup of this. So, I am... <laughs> For my last favorite, it would have to be my Shiseido Eyelash Curler. You know, I love curling my lashes and putting mascara because I don't really line my eyes a lot. I usually just curl my lashes and put on mascara and I'm good to go because my eyes are so hooded. So, now I'm going to line my eyes as you can tell. But it should be super nipis lang ng pagline ko. I got this from Japan through my brother's girlfriend, Fabi. Hi, Fabi, if you're watching! Kasi ang ganda ng curl niya, hindi yung tipong pag-curl mo, parang naka-fold yung lashes mo. It's like a really nice curl. So, this one, I really love. So, that is all for my favorites for this month, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe if hindi ka pa nakasubscribe. I just want to say thank you guys so much for all of you for watching and tuning into my videos. I know I have been gone for the longest time for the last months, but I am back now. Hoping that I will be able to provide better videos for you and more videos to come. If you have any video requests, go ahead and comment them down below. And by the way, guys, I am planning to have a Q&A, so please comment up your questions on the down bar with the hashtag AskK. I actually have an AskK video before. Pero once pala ako nakagawa, so please go ahead and place your questions on the comment box below or any of my videos with the hashtag AskK para malaman kong it is for my Q&A. So that's all guys for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and click like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Mwah. So that's all for my favorites for this month's guy. This month's. Is it focusing though? It We're done. We're done. We're done.